said that we can say to that mountain, we can say to that problem, we can say to that struggle that be cast into the sea. And if we do not doubt in our hearts, that which we ask, we shall have it. That which we ask, we shall have it. So I enjoin everyone listening to us from all around the world today is an, another opportunity for you to confront and then conquer all of your fears, all of your troubles, as you engage to pray today in the name of Jesus Christ. But I tell you one thing before I hand over to the man of God, that you it, it is in your own interest, it is in my own interest that we release our faith uh, as far as our eyes can see, as far as our imaginations can capture. That's just about how much God can bring to us. So if we can see an end to that problem, uh, is it a terminal disease? Is it is it a long-standing problem? Is it joblessness? Is it is it a misdirection? Whatever problem, whatever obstacle that that is a thorn in the flesh of anyone here today, as we release our faith and we engage the word of God by praying, the Lord God Almighty will bring about solutions to every problem in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you as I hand over to the man of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Can you hear me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good to see you. Good to see you. Tonight is a special night. We'll be praying tonight. But before we go into prayers, I just want to bring a word quickly. Amen. Because I believe this year the Lord has told us that 2021 is a year that everyone is hidden in the blood. I mean, the redeemed, this word came to us in new glory, and we are extending it to our viewers all around the world, that this year we are hidden, our life, our properties, everything we have is hidden in the blood of the Lamb. Amen? But today, something can make somebody who is hidden under the blood of the Lamb to go away from under the blood. And today, my topic will be, don't give the devil a place in your life. Do not give the devil a place in your life. You know, some people have given the devil a place in their lives. And this is not just affecting them. It's not just affecting their marriage. It's not just affecting their finances. It is affecting their children and even anything connected to them. But what does it mean to give the devil a place in your life? This year, what does it mean for somebody to come out from the covering blood of the lamb? Before we pray tonight, I want to get something right. So that when we begin to pray, our prayer will be effective. Because without addressing these problems, without addressing these situations, no matter how we pray, our prayer will not ascend to heaven. But once things are, are, are lined up, once things are aligned to God's will, our prayer tonight will be very effective in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, some people have given the devil a place in their life. Some people have created an atmosphere, an atmosphere, that makes Satan feel he is welcome in their lives. He's welcome into their family. He's welcome into their marriage. He's welcome into their finances. If you have your Bible, talk with me to Ephesians chapter 4, from verse 27. I will be reading verse 30. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 27, and verse 30. I mean, this is a frightening scripture. It says, No, give place to the devil. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were seed for the day of redemption. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Do not give the devil a place. In Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 8b, it says, Whosoever breaketh an edge, a serpent shall bite him. Meaning as a child of God, you are covered in the blood of the Lamb. Your marriage, your family, your finances, your health, your future, your destiny is covered in the blood of the Lamb. But sometimes we sell out what God is covering. We walk away from under the umbrella of grace. We walk away under the umbrella of the blood. Amen. So this is amazing and frightening. Can you imagine that we, children of God, sanctified, born again, 
Holy Ghost filled can give the devil a place in our lives. Can give the enemy a place at the same time grieving the Holy Spirit. This is unthinkable. Can you imagine? Somebody, a child of God can create an atmosphere for the devil to feel welcome in their lives. A child of God can devise an environment for the enemy to come in. A child of God can lay a welcome mat and say, Satan, you are welcome. You are welcome in my life. You are welcome in my finances. You are welcome in my home. A child of God, Holy Ghost seed, somebody Jesus has died for, can give the devil a place in their life. Oh, help us tonight, Father. Help us tonight. That in any area we are giving the devil a place, tonight we shall be set free in the name of Jesus. As a child of God, I want to tell you something tonight. The devil cannot trespass your home. The devil is not allowed to come near you. The devil is not allowed to come near your finances, your home, your marriage, your children's lives, your future. No, the devil is not allowed. But however, we can give the devil a place. You and I can give the devil a place in our lives. Amen. But tonight, any foothold we are giving to the devil, he shall be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. And then any door we are open to the devil tonight, we shall be set free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do you know? An example of this is this. Just imagine you have 58 acre land. You have a big land. And then you sold a piece of plot in the, in the center of that, your 58 acre land, you sold a piece, just one plot of the acre. You sold it to somebody. And before that person can get to that, to the center of, the, of his own house, he has to go through your plot. He has to go through your land. And if that person decides to be a nuisance, begin to play music, or begin to throw rubbish around. From that place you have given to this person, that person can stay in his own Lego plot and begin to disturb the entire place. And if you want to kick him out and say, you are disturbing my peace, I want you to go away. That person will not go away. Why? Because you have given that person a Lego ground. Because you have given that man, that woman, a Lego ground to occupy. The person has got the right to occupy that property. No matter what you do, you have given the person that right. Amen. So this is how it is. Sometimes, some of us, we give the devil a place. And the problem is, when he comes into an area, he doesn't just stay there. He wants to, from that place you have given to him, he wants to affect every area. And then, we begin to pray. Satan, go away. Go away. Satan said, I can't go away because you have given me the legal right to be here. You are giving me the permission to be here. You are giving me the authority, the authorization to be in this place. So how can I leave your finances? How can I leave your health? How can I leave your marriage? How can I leave your children? How can I leave your future? You have given me a place to be here. But tonight, the Lord will set us free. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, whenever you see a text like this, we need to go back to see around it what exactly can give the devil a place in my life, in your life. What exactly can give the devil a place? What exactly can make a child of God to come out from the hidden blood of the lamb into the open? Remember God told Job, Satan, say, God, have you not made a hedge around Job and everything he has? You have put a mark of protection around Job, around everything he has. So Satan couldn't attack Job. God has to give permission and say, now I am removing that protection. Go, but don't kill him. So what are these things that can open door for the enemy to come in to attack us? If you go to verse 25, in Ephesians 4, 25, it says, therefore, Putting away lying, putting away lying. Let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one body. Friends, lying can give the devil a place in your life, in my life. So if you are a liar, if you 
your life is not based on absolute truth, if you're still living a lie, you are creating a climate for the devil to come in. In any area of your life, if you are not living the life that God has called us to, you are creating an atmosphere. You are telling Satan you are welcome. Yes, you are welcome. You are welcome. Can I just remind us the nature of this Satan? In John chapter 8, verse 44, the Bible says, you are of your father the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it all. So whenever any child of God begins to live a lie, begins to tell a lie, begins to draw a lie, what are we doing? You, you, here he's saying the person is like their father. So Satan is the father of all liars. So are you living a lie? Do you live a lie? What kind of life are you living? Are you, are you opening the door for the enemy? We want to pray this year. We want to prosper this year. We want to possess our position this year. But if we cannot align ourselves to God's word, those things we want to see this year happen may never happen. Hallelujah. So on the other hand, in John 14 verse 6, the Bible says of Jesus, the kingdom of, of darkness is built on lies. Amen. The kingdom of darkness and everything is built on lies. But John chapter 14 verse 6 says, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So anytime you are saying truth, you are aligning yourself to the kingdom of God. Anytime you are lying or living a lie or making a lie, you are aligning yourself, saying, Satan, right now, I want to live in your path. I want to cross carpet from the way of righteousness to the path of darkness. So I want us to consider our lives, my friends. If there's any area of your life, any area that's not completely honest, that can give the devil a food place. You may be praying, you may be fasting, asking God, but why is my breakthrough not coming? Are you cooperating with the enemy? Are you cooperating with the devil? Ask yourself, am I cooperating with the devil to attack me? Am I living a lie? And you know what? Lying may not just be by speaking. Somebody can lie through silence. Somebody can lie through just acting of your eyebrow, just using your eyebrow. Somebody can lie through any means. So check your life. Are you living a lie? That will invite the devil into your house, into your life. Amen. Another thing I want you to see that can open the door to the devil is anger. Anger in verse 28. Verse 28. He says, verse 26 rather, he says, be angry and do not sin. Be angry and do not sin. So anger creates a climate for the devil to attack us. Anger opens the door for the devil. Yes, anger. The devil has got affinity for anger. Whenever the, somebody is always angry, the devil has affinity for anger. Amen. And the devil will say, yes, this is where I want to do it. In Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, it says, therefore, rejoice all heavens, and you who dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and to the sea, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath. Because he knows that he, he has a short time. So the devil is a master. He is the, the father of anger. Amen. Are you living? Are you always upset? Are you living in anger? God is saying tonight, wrath is not of God. Say, be angry, but say not. Hallelujah. So tonight, I want us to examine ourselves. God wants to deliver us tonight. God wants to do something. But that is, we need to cooperate with God. We need to agree with the word of God for God to, to intervene. You know, sometimes I heard that sin is like, take today. You were doing it now. It will be sweet. But it's like you are, you are taking today to pay tomorrow. May God deliver us. 
in the name of Jesus. Another thing I can open the door to the enemy is in verse 28. It says, let him who stole see no longer. So stealing can open a doorway for the devil. Is this stealing from your workplace? Is this stealing? You can say, oh, but it's just a piece of pencil. If that thing is not yours, friends, I want, I'm, I'm taking us tonight something that will make you great in life. If that thing does not belong to you, whoever that can steal a piece of pencil can steal one million pounds. If you can steal anything, no matter how small that thing is, if you have opportunity to steal something big, you will do it. So check your life. Are you taking things that do not belong to you? Check. Tonight, these things can give the devil a foot place. In John chapter 10, verse 10, the Bible says, the thief comes not, the thief does not come except to steal. Except to steal. So the devil is seen as a thief. So whoever that is stealing is aligning themselves to the way of the devil. May God deliver us today in the name of Jesus. May God deliver us today in the name of Jesus. You know, it's easy to say, but it doesn't matter. It is a small thing I've taken. It is so something so, so minor. It doesn't matter if I take it or not. You know, the Bible says in Luke 16 verse 10, it says, he who is faithful in what is least, in small thing, is also, will be also be faithful in much. But he who is unjust in what is least, small, will also be unjust in something that is big. I want us to, to examine our lives. Are we committing thiefery? Are we committing thiefery against ourselves, against our family? What kind of life are we living? Are we robbing God? Are we stealing from God? Because sometimes it's easy to think, you know, am I stealing from God? Am I stealing from God? How am I stealing from Whoever that is doing that, God is calling us tonight for repentance. Amen. God is calling us for repentance. There's so many things there. In verse 30, he says bitterness. Bitterness. You know, even a husband and wife, you know, sometimes out of we can become bitter towards one another. I find this in my own life. Anytime the devil wants to come and attack myself or my wife, he will come through disagreement. And sometimes disagreement can be so heated, it will generate to bitterness. It will generate to bitterness. And before I realize what is happening, maybe tickets. When I go out, maybe that month, I'll be having ticket upon ticket upon ticket. I have to cry to God and say, Father, show me mercy. Father, deliver me. Any door I have opened. Because when we open that door, the Bible, he that break it an edge, then Satan will bite. So, Whenever you live in bitterness, you are telling the devil come in. So before the devil will come in, he will break the link. He will be working. How can I defeat this couple? How can I come into their marriage? How can I sow an evil seed? How can I destroy this? How can I do this? And the only way, if this couple, if this man, if this woman will say no way, even when something comes, a disagreement happens, they are quick to reconcile. They are quick to reconcile so that they won't give the devil a foot place. Child of God, I want us to know this. These are so important. Is it malice? Is it malice? Sometimes we can keep malice for days. Sometimes we can keep malice. Somebody who can even go to the same church, yet we can't say good morning to that sister. We can't say good morning to that brother. Why? That brother has done something against me. Malice, it can open a doorway for the devil to come in, to attack us. Oh, may God help us tonight. In the name of Jesus. And the list goes on. But tonight I want us to pray. I don't know the door you have opened to the enemy. That is making the devil to attack you. I don't know the door you have opened. Is it anger? Is it bitterness? Is it unforgiveness? Is it wrath? Is it whatever thing it is? Is it stealing? Whatever that you have given the devil. You know, we cannot just dislodge the devil. For us to dislodge the devil, for us to be able to bind the devil, to cast the devil out from our lives, we have to go through three different things. Because the devil cannot just leave. He can't just say, okay, then I'm leaving. No, no. Three things. First, there will be repentance. Repentance. There will be repentance. Two, there will be resistance. You must repent. 
from anything you have done, anything you are doing that is against the will of God, you have to repent first. Without true repentance, no solution comes. A pastor can pray and fast with you. Nothing changes. Why? Because you are still cooperating with the enemy. Deliverance, freedom comes when somebody is saying, I don't want to do it anymore. Lord, I want to cooperate with you. And that's why we don't just pray for any person who comes around. I used to do that when person comes and say, oh, pastor, please pray. Especially people who are not in new glory. I say, come, let's begin to pray, let's begin to pray. And one day God rebooked me. I said, why are you praying for that person? I said, God, I say, yes, that person needs to repent. You are bringing trouble upon yourself. You are bringing, to, for praying for that person, that person is not willing to let go of what they are doing. But they want you to pray. As you are praying, you are bringing troubles upon your family. Say, until the person is ready to say, I don't want this kind of thing anymore. I want to change. That is when prayer becomes effective. But if somebody is still living, cooperating with the enemy, no prayer will ever, instead, it will begin to backfire. Amen. So, two, so there will be resistance. You need to say no to the devil. And tonight, that's what we want to do. Say no to the devil. Three, there will be renewal. You must decide. Say from today, I must live according to the precepts of God. I must live according to the word of God. I don't want to go pray with the devil anymore. Satan, you have attacked my head so much. I won't permit you again to attack my health. Satan, you have attacked my finances. You have attacked my relationship. You have attacked my destiny. I say no more, Satan. You cannot attack me anymore. Yes. You begin to resist the devil. You begin to resist the self devil. Standing in the way of righteousness. Hallelujah. So tonight, I don't know if you are watching me here or you are lying and you are asking, but how, whatever door I have opened, Lord, I'm sorry. I want to repent tonight. I have walked away from the way of righteousness. I have walked away from the path of justice. Lord, I have robbed you. I have robbed you in my tithes. I have robbed you in my offerings. Lord, I have lied against my neighbor. Lord, I have cheated. Lord, I have kept monies. Lord, I have gone, I have become so angry against my spouse. This night, are you willing to say, Lord, have mercy? Have mercy upon us. Shall we bow down our head as we pray? Tonight is a night of freedom. This is an hour of freedom. You have cooperated with the death with the devil a lot. This season is a season of deliverance. This is a season of freedom. You have to be angry and say, Satan, enough is enough. Anywhere I've opened the door to you, anywhere I have cooperated with you tonight, enough, I'm coming out. I am kicking you out. I am dislodging you tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Anywhere I have opened the door to you, Satan, to you demons, to attack me, to attack my health, to attack my family, to attack my relationship. Today, I am closing the door in the name of Jesus. I am closing the door. I am saying, Father, come in today, Lord Jesus, help me. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. We are entering into a season of prayer. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, Father, wherever, whatever thing it is, anywhere I've opened the door of my life to the enemy, to attack me. Oh God, tonight deliver me. Oh, put your mouth and begin to pray. Oh God, tonight I repent in the name of Jesus. I repent. I repent tonight, oh God. Every door I have opened to the enemy, any door I have opened to the devil, is it through my lifestyle? Father, tonight I am sorry. I will not go pray with the devil anymore. I will not be bitter again against my husband. I will not be bitter again against my wife. I will not be keeping malice again. Tonight, oh God, deliver me. Anything the devil has used to break the link between me and my spouse, between me and my children, between me and my destiny help us. Father, today I repent. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to repent before God right now. Begin to ask God to show you mercy. Begin to ask God to wash you. Anything it is, somebody is not praying. I want you to pray tonight. I want you to pray a minute. This is the 
season, an hour of freedom. I want you to know God wants to set you free. God desires your freedom. God desires your deliverance. God wants you to be set free, but he cannot do it. God cannot override your will. God cannot override your decision. God cannot force you to live right. He is asking you right now, hey, begin to break everything the devil has taken from your life. Begin to recover them right now in the name of Jesus. Begin to say right now, the Bible says in John 10, 10, the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Begin to declare right now, everything the devil has stolen from you, begin to recover them now. In the name of Jesus, begin to recover them. Re begin to recover them. Don't give up. Don't give up. Begin to pray. Everything I have lost since the day I was born, since the day I was born, my father, my father, right now, I recover them. In the name of Jesus, I have made peace with God. I declare right now, everything the devil has taken from me, anything the devil has stolen from me, I declare tonight, in the name of Jesus, I receive it back. I receive it back in the name of Jesus. Was everything the devil has stolen? I receive it back. Open your mouth and pray. I want to see somebody pray tonight. I want you to pray. I want you to make these prayers tonight. I want you to travel. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Anything the devil has taken, begin to recover them now. In the name of Jesus, I declare tonight, was everything I have lost to the kingdom of darkness. Lord, tonight I declare, I receive it back. I receive it back. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to declare tonight. Begin to declare tonight. By the power in the name of Jesus. Begin to come back to life. He said he comes to steal, to kill. Anything the devil has killed in your life. Anything the devil has killed in your, is it your relationship? Is it your future? Is it your career? Was everything the devil has killed? I want you to begin to declare now and say, no more. I command life right now. Let it receive life. Let your relationship receive life. Let your health receive life. Let your finances receive life. Begin to declare into your future. Begin to declare into your future. Begin to prophesy life right now. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare life. Begin to declare life. Begin to declare life in the name of Jesus. Continue to pray. Begin to declare life. Begin to declare life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray right now. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Malakata shakaba. Rekeke masoto de mayeti. Mali brandele brosundo yaba. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Mali masi kata yaba. Rekeke te sekete de maya. Rima masi kata boshia. Makata shakata yaba. Begin to pray now. Begin to pray. Rekata shakaba. Machine de Lebosia, Rekete Shakaba, Rika Kata Shakaba, Rekete Sekete de Brosotoba. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Everything the devil has killed, begin to bring them back to life. In the name of Jesus, begin to bring them back to life. Begin to bring them back to life. Begin to declare right now. You, the devil, I declare, Rakata Shakataba, Rokete Lemasete, Rika Tosotoba, Rika Taba. Begin to pray tonight. In the name of Jesus, anything the devil has destroyed in your love and your finances, begin to declare right now. Will save thing the devil has destroyed? Begin to decree life into it right now. Begin to speak to your destiny. Begin to speak to your future. Begin to speak right now in the name of Jesus. The Bible says God's plans for you are plans of good and not of evil. Plans to bring you to your expected end. Begin to declare right now. Begin to pray. Continue to pray, continue to pray. Continue to pray tonight. Masi kataba. Begin to pray tonight. Le masoto yeleba. Rikata shikaba. Li baba sende. Rebro soto. Begin to declare. Begin to declare. Rikaba. Rikata sikato brosia. Reba baba baba baba. Begin to pray tonight. Le masi deba. Rekete sakato. Father, we declare tonight. Anything the devil has destroyed. In the life of anyone here, we command life. 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 We command
command life in the name of Jesus. We command life. We command life. We command life. Rema seketi yaba. Rema mama maya. We command life. Begin to declare now. Begin to declare now. Maseketi leba. Rekete shabosha. Malaba ba ba ba. Likata shikabaya. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I want you to say after me. Let God arise. Say after me. Let God arise. And fight for me tonight. I want you to lift up your right hand. Say, let God arise. And fight for me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Or put your mouth and begin to pray. Say, Lord, arise for me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Every battle going on against my destiny. Every battle going on against my future. Every battle going on against my finances. Every battle going against my calling. Oh, God, arise tonight. Oh, the God of Zion. Arise tonight, oh God. Begin to declare. Rikata Saka. Ruba City. Oh, God, arise tonight. In the name Name of Jesus, Liba Suto Kata Shakabaha, Rete Brasendi, begin to pray tonight. Likata Shaka, Rubra Sikabaha, that person tonight, the enemy has vowed you will not carry your children, you will not carry your children. Begin to pray tonight. I say, You devil, you are a liar and the father of lies. I will carry my children in the name of Jesus. I will carry my children. Malakata Sakata, Rekata Lebaha, begin to declare tonight. Riba begin to pray now that person you'll be hearing voice that you are going to die on timely you are going to die on timely begin to cancel that voice right now begin to declare the word of god begin to declare i shall live and not die begin to declare i will live and not die in the name of jesus open your mouth and begin to pray Begin to pray, begin to pray. No passing here. We die this year. We declare by the power in the blood of the Lamb. No passing this year. Begin to declare, begin to declare. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, in Joshua, Joshua chapter 1, verse 5, he said, There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fear thee, nor forsake thee. I want you to pray tonight and say from today, no man or woman will be able to resist the plan of God for my life. No man will be able to resist. No power, no demon, no principality will be able to resist the plan of God for my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Say tonight, I declare no man or woman will be able to resist the plan of God for my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Rakata shaka baya. Rekeke masoto. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Reke delebosha. Raba baya kataya baha. Reke telebonduria. Begin to pray tonight. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray tonight. Begin to pray. Masete yakabaha. Rika prosho to yakata yabaha. Rika desakabaha. Rusha kata yabaha. Rika tobosha. No man or woman will be able to stand, will be able to resist the plan of God for my life. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Masake te yakabaya. Rusha kata yabaya. Reke te seke te. Ruku pra yakata shikabaya. Reke te yakabaya. Reke te brosoto le brake te yabaya. Rika ta shikabaya. Rende brosoto. Continue to pray, continue to pray. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Revelation 12, 11, that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Begin to declare, right now, I overcome the enemy with the blood of the lamb. I overcome the enemy with the blood 
of the Lamb. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I overcome right now by the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus, I declare today I am recovering all. I am recovering all. I am overcoming. I am overcoming with the blood of the Lamb. With the blood of the Lamb. From tonight, I am recovering all. With the blood of Jesus. My wife is secured. In the blood of Jesus, my children are secured. My finances is secured. My future is secured. I will fulfill the plan of God for my life. My children will live and not die. In the name of Jesus, we declare tonight, I will fulfill the plan of God for my life. I will fulfill the plan of God for my life. I will fulfill the mandate of the king. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Something is happening right now. Begin to break every chain. I can see chains breaking. 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 Can see chains breaking. Every chains, the enemy has put upon you. They are breaking now. Open your mouth and pray, 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 pray. Do not pray. Malakadabaya. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Rakata Sakaba. Let every chain be broken. Every chain of anger. Any weapon the enemy will be using against you to get you cheap. Is it weapon of malice? Is it anger? Is it bitterness? Is it stealing? Is it lying? Begin to pray right now and say, let their chest be broken. Let their chest be broken in the name of Jesus. Do not let them be broken. 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 Them be broken. Ask God to change you tonight. Ask God to change you. Say, God, change me. Begin to pray. Say, God, change me. God, change me. He said, I will give you a new heart. I will give you a new heart. Begin to pray tonight. And say, Lord, give me a new heart. This year, 2021, is my year of breakthrough. It's my year to rise and shine. It's my year of possessing my possession. It's my year of divine fulfillment. It's my year of recovery. Whatever thing you have lost, now put your mouth and begin to pray and say, No more, no more, no more, no more Satan in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, continue to pray, continue to pray tonight. Lay Keteba, lay hands upon yourself tonight. Rikata Shakata Yabaya, Roba Baba Send Denemay, Reketebo, Shindeba. Begin to pray tonight. Li Kalaba, Riba Baba Sandalabalia, Rikalo Bosson de Brandia. Begin to pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare tonight. Lima Son do Yakete in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me tonight. You see, I want us to pray that God will give us the spirit of revelation. Spirit of revelation. When you have revelation and discernment, there's a certain things you not go, go into. You could not pray tonight. Say, God, help me. Give me a spirit of discernment and revelation. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Say, God, give me a spirit of discernment and a spirit of revelation that this year I will walk in revelation. I will not walk in the dark. Lord, I will not walk in the dark. Show me great and mighty things I know what not. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, tonight I declare, in the name of Jesus, show me great and mighty things I know what not, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to pray. I want us to thank God for this year. Use me as your battle axe. Use me as your battle axe. In the name of Jesus. Use me as your battle axe tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. And say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray tonight. Begin to declare. And say, every altar, every altar, every altar speaking against my life, speaking against my marriage, speaking against my destiny, every altar of Baal, let them be pulled down tonight. Let them be pulled down tonight in the name of Jesus. Every evil altar, every evil altar, Ricardo Soto, begin to pray tonight. Ricardo Labriacaba, every altar sponsoring evil, sponsoring rejections, whenever good they want to come to your life, that altar will show up. Whatever anything good want to happen to you, that altar will show 
show up and destroy it. Begin to pray tonight. You evil altar, I set you ablaze. I set you on fire. I set you on fire in the name of Jesus. I set you on fire. I set you on fire in the name of Jesus. You evil altar, be destroyed by fire tonight. 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 Every evil altar, Malek be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I want us to pray tonight before I hand over to Isaac. I want us to pray tonight and tell God, Father, this year, I want to cooperate with your purpose. I want to use the gifts you are giving to me. I want to be able to use it this year. The Bible says, Jesus says, he wants us to grow and to bear fruit. And there are fruit who abide. I want us tonight to pray and say, Father, this year, cause me to bear fruit and let my fruit abide. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, Father, this year, cause me to bear fruit and let my fruit abide. Cause me to bear fruit. This year, Lord, I will bear fruit. I will use the gifts that God has given to me. I will use my gift to advance the kingdom of God, to do the work of the kingdom. I will be a soul winner this year. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I will be a soul winner this year. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of fear, every spirit of uh, timidity that's making me not to share my faith, I command tonight, let it be removed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For I just declare right now, Almighty Father in heaven, the Bible says, whatever thing two or three of us shall agree here on earth shall be done for us in heaven. For everyone who is on this prayer line tonight, those King of Glory in this new glory church and those watching online, Father, right now I declare, by the power in the name of Jesus, that every plan of the enemy, any door they have opened to the devil, any way they have given the devil a foothold in their lives, is it through lying? Is it through gossiping? Is it through backbiting? Is it through fear? Is it through anger? Is it through stealing? Whatever means, oh God, they have opened the door for the enemy to come in to attack them. Father, I declare tonight, let such door be closed. In the name of Jesus, let such door be closed now. In the name of Jesus, I decree, oh God, whatever thing the devil has stolen, whatever thing the devil has killed, whatever thing the devil has destroyed, Lord, I command restoration tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Brysik. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good all the time and all the time the Lord is good. Thank you so very much, Pastor, uh, for that wonderful session of prayer. I prayed and I believe everyone watching us also did pray. Uh, just a quick reminder before we uh, or call it a day, before we wrap it up today. Uh, it is important that area of scripture that Pastor read, uh, the book of Ephes Ephesians 4. I think verse 30 said that we should not grieve, we should not grieve the Holy Spirit of God in the way that we live. So more than ever before, we have to be conscious of how we live our lives. Um, uh, the Englishman would say the proof of the pudding is, is actually in the eating. So if we say that we want God to bless us this year, we, we say that we want all bounds broken, all chains uh, broken, uh, come to asunder, then we have to be conscious of the way that we live our lives. Uh, it is not enough for, for God to forgive us and, and we say we are Christians just by the fact that um, we, we, we leverage on the blood of Jesus Christ. Even much more importantly, uh, the way that we conduct ourselves, the way that we relate with our neighbors, our friends, our family members, what kind of persons uh, would they say we have? So these things matter. So for us to keep our, our miracles, for us to keep our blessings, it is imperative that we live right. It is imperative that we live right. And as we continue to advance 
in our knowledge of our Savior Jesus Christ, the Lord will em embellish us with more grace to live according to his word and according to his precepts in Jesus' name. Um, so in conclusion, I uh, would just have to remind us of uh, the, the broadcast has come to us, uh, courtesy New Glory uh, Christian International Ministries. Uh, usually uh, on Wednesdays like this, we'll have uh, our freedom, uh, a time of uh, actually confronting and conquering all of our fears. And I believe that uh, today's meeting has been one of a kind. Uh, we would also meet usually on Fridays uh, between uh, the hours of um, 7.30 and 9 p.m. UK time uh, for our uh, that discipleship program, our discipleship class, uh, a, a place where we actually learn and we eat from the word of God. Uh, we get a uh, godly perspective to worldly problems. Uh, so we would normally meet on Fridays, uh, like I said, and also we would meet on Sundays between uh, 2 p.m. UK time to around 3.30 p.m. So I enjoyed every one of you. Uh, if you have been blessed uh, with this broadcast to join us again, uh, in our time of meeting and as you join us as you uh, go with us on this journey the lord god almighty uh, will shine his light on every dark area of our lives in jesus name uh, so that will be all and um, if you have been blessed and you just want to support the mission uh the uh, the the bank details uh are usually on the screen of pastor uh it's just uh, so you can always refer to the video to pick the bank details and uh, the lord god almighty will replenish us in jesus name so that will be all for tonight. Uh, I believe that we have been blessed. Uh, may the Lord continue to keep us and let his face shine upon us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord.